bee colony made the roof of a Fort Smith church their home. Today, crews had to remove a nearly six-foot-long beehive. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker shows us what's been buzzing in St. John's Episcopal Church's attic. In May of 2021, a storm damaged the roof here at St. Sean's Episcopal Church. And while the roof was being inspected, the roofing company discovered there were bees in their roof. Today was the day they went up into the roof to move the bees. We thought it was going to be kind of fun to watch a beekeeper actually uh, go through the process of properly removing them. And then we found out that they had been vacated by these uh, hive beetles, which we didn't know about either. Last summer, Elite Roofing was doing a roof inspection using thermal imaging on a drone to look for leaks. They found a two by six spot, which turned out to be a beehive. Uh, there's a bunch of us been doing roofing for a long time. It's the first time we've run across honeybees in a roof. They usually like areas that are a little bit tighter, but the way the church is roof is set up, it was perfect for them, I guess. Elite Roofing Project Manager Tyler Reams says they called a beekeeper who told them they needed to wait for good weather like today to move the bees. They started when it was still dark because the beekeepers say that's when they are their calmest. We run across wasps a lot. We've done bats. Um, critters we're pretty used to though, squirrels, that stuff like that, but you get to the point though where Nothing really surprises you anymore. The beekeepers were able to move the hive from the roof, but there was no need to preserve it since there were no bees left. When we first discovered there were bees in the attic, our parishioners are very adamant that the bees not be destroyed because we are uh, keepers of all of God's creation, big and small. So we serve our community in several ways and we wanted to protect uh, the, the bees. Now, since they moved the hive out this morning, some bees have started coming back here to the roof, but now that hole has been repaired, so they aren't able to go back inside. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. St. John's Episcopal Church has been a big contributor to the city of Fort Smith. The original church built in the 1800s and was the first hospital in Fort Smith. Happen